nothing like living a simple life. Something out those aches and pains from working on the farm. Hey guys, it's Eric here at Farpoint Farms. Check it out. I got us a new trailer. Uh, if you watched my last video on trailers, I was selling that 4x6 that I had had since, uh, you know, the early 90s. And I had used that thing and upgraded that thing. And, you know, it was it was four foot wide, so it would fit a 42-inch mower on it, but it wouldn't fit anything bigger than that. And I also had an, a, a, a 5x10, which was way too heavy for the current truck that I have, which you'll see here in a second. So we decided to sell both those and get something in between, and that's this. It's the 5x8 made by Carrion. And, um, yeah, it's definitely a step down from some of the other trailers I had, but it's a decent trailer. It certainly isn't a premium brand, but you can see here it does have a two inch ball on there. The older ones apparently came with a one and seven eighths. So I swapped it out, which is kind of nice because now I only have trailers that have two inch balls. So that saves me a little bit of packing. And it came with a light kit. You can see the side markers, 12 inch tire, but it is a six ply tire. So uh, that was interesting. I don't think I've ever had a trailer with such a small tire on it. Most of them either 13s or 14s. But it does have a drop gate, which is nice, so I can be able to drive tractors up onto it. And, uh, man, you know. <laughs> so there's a hitch pin for the, uh, or a pin to hold the gate up on that side. There's your lighting over there. It does have some nice reflectors here. And it's that wire mesh floor, so it does, it feels sketchy. It feels flexible when you stand on it, but it works. On this side, you can see another pin there. And here's the uh, information. I mean, I literally just brought this thing home about a half hour ago, but I figured I'd show it off. It's the carry-on trailer, 5x8 flatbed with uh, GT, whatever that is, 1,650-pound capacity, 12-inch tire, 990-pound rated. And it says 1 and 7 eighths, but this model, like I said, is, uh, is a 2-inch. Look at that price. You know, When I was looking at these last year when we talked about doing this, these were $599. So there's inflation. One of the reasons I don't talk about um, how much I pay for things up here is because prices change so rapidly. And of course, right now they're changing even more rapidly. So I imagine by the time you watch this video, it'll probably be thirteen or fourteen hundred dollars, which is sad, but also the facts. You can see here the axles, pretty decent size axle, and the springs. They're two leafs. Um, time will tell how well they hold up. The rears are tacked into place. The fronts have some flex, and the decking. Some of the welds are pretty janky. <laughs> They're just not that great, I'll be honest. The build quality of this is its not terrible by any means, but it's also not the best I've ever seen. And the paint job is decent. Um, there's some spots that are already showing rust through, so I'll have to fix that. Now I'm gonna do some upgrades on it. The first upgrade I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a, uh, a drop down third, you know, third wheel that goes down there and so we can hold it in place so it doesn't just sit in the dirt when I'm not using it. And I'm also going to put a bracket. I'm going to weld a bracket on here with a winch. Just one of those crank up winches so I can uh, make it easier when I'm recovering mowers out of, the, out of people's yards. If they have flat tires, I can kind of drag them up onto it. But um, overall, it's pretty nice. I'm not disappointed, that's for sure. I'm back out here so you can get the whole thing. As you can see, using this uh, micro truck, I mean, this is, a, this is a Volkswagen Rabbit. It has a load capacity of 1,200 pounds and a tow capacity of 2,500 pounds, so this trailer is kind of perfect for it. I will say, you know, with a less than 100 horsepower engine, that this thing fully loaded is probably going to keep me in fourth gear pretty much all the time, but I'll get up close on this and show you the placard for it. 2,000 pound gross, um, made in April of last year, so there you go. Tire size 4x8x12s. By by and um, tire pressure, 90 PSI, that's a lot of pressure. I don't know if I'd go that, maybe maybe 65, but I guess if you're gonna load it all the way, they're, they're telling you 90. And the VIN's on there. Of course, there's other VIN numbers hidden throughout the, the uh, unit. But you can see, like I'm talking about, some of these welds are, they're okay, they're just not great. There's some splatter, but I've seen a lot of people do upgrades on these things and they'll put a piece of plywood down to help because it does bounce some when you're standing on it. Matter of fact, I'll hop up in here and show you. It's a little hard to see. You can kind of feel it rocking. And it's not that that's you know, poorly built. That's just the design. When you're going to use mesh, you just that's just one of the 
downsides to it, but it certainly saves on weight. Dry weight on this thing is, um, it's like 375 pounds. So it pulls like nothing. I mean, when you're, when we were coming home with this, you couldn't even tell it was on there and it drives really well. It does have a four pin electrical plug. So I don't have my truck wired up for yet. So I'll be doing that this afternoon. I got to get a pin for it. And then, uh, safety chains do come with it so not bad i'm not going to put a spare tire on this thing i'm not going to be driving that far of a distance if it blows out it blows out i'll run to the nearest walmart and take care of it and come back for it <laughs> anyway i'll probably make a follow-up video when i'm installing that drop down uh, but other than that there's not a lot to it if you have any questions about these or any comments i'd love to hear it as this is this is a new adventure for me for sure till next time my friends take care